Welcome to the slot. The slot is the first official, <laughs> so to speak. Nothing is official over here. But it's the first time I'm giving this sort of um, series of non-relevant, non-lathe stuff. So, small lathe, off-topic, slot. So we have a bottle here. And this is a water jug. I just found it lying around. Somebody threw it away. It was next to the garbage bin. I also have one of these containers. And this is a small container for ammonia. I washed it nicely with tap water and it's just fine. It was pretty much empty. There were a few drops at the bottom. That's it. So what do we do these? Well, I have a wonderful suggestion and I uh, hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you like the idea. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like the idea. If you don't like this type of, let's say, additional material to the channel, let me know. Maybe I'll stop. If you do like it, let me know. I'll put some more material over there. Let's get started. This is for wood, but let's try what happens with plastic. I'm just curious. Oh, slice that deal, it slips. I thought it would because the teeth are too big, but uh, I was curious. Anyway, I'm going to change this blade because it's, um, the metal cutting part it has too many teeth it has 24 TPI teeth per inch and um, well I don't need don't have much use for a wood blade but the uh, point is that this is a bit too short over here for this specific blade width so I don't know it's a nice blade though I'll keep it in case I need some spring steel. I'm guessing we'll have a use for spring steel eventually. There we go. So now we have a simple planter that has a handle. All I need to do is take an old rusty drill bit. I think I have one over here. And drill, usually I drill something like four to five holes at the bottom end. Like this is a bit concave, so anywhere around here would be just fine. My hand drill is not here, so I won't be doing it at this moment, but you get the point. Let's get on to the other one. This one is a bit tricky because it's round and slippery. But all in all, it's really, really easy. I was just playing with the hacksaw. Right, there we go. We got a very convenient line showing where to cut. You can cut a little bit above it. I do like to cut above it, just at the neck over here. And here we go. So that was easy. Right. Again, the bottom is concave. All you have to do is drill four nice holes and you're done. The container also has channels, so it's really, really nice because if there's any water accumulating over here, it'll just flow out these vents. Right. All I have to do now is clean up. I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. I'm just taking a sharp blade, scalpel, whatever you like and just cutting the excess off getting the ends nice and user friendly takes a couple of minutes and then you got a nice planter 
Well, that's it. Two done. And both were completed in less than 15 minutes. So, all in all, including my chatting, it's about, I know, 10 minutes for both, 5 minutes tops. That's it. Add the, the drilling and it's 6 minutes per planter. And I'd like to show you something. If you take a good look, we have one, two, and three planters that are identical to this one. So it works. Plants do like these. They grow really well in them. And the nice thing about these, they're very, very easy to make. They're cost free. My favorite price. <laughs> And you're actually reusing something that was supposed to go to the trash bin, so I'm really happy with that. I've had these for four years now, and they're growing really well. The plants. The planters are functioning perfectly. <laughs> right, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it's going to be useful for you, too. Do let me know what you think. Thanks, and I'll see you shortly.